happy aloha thursday everyone and welcome to cash me in paradise my name is jocelyn i'm a cash envelope stuffer and budgeter here in hawaii for those of you that are new to my channel aloha and welcome and for all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. What's good, YouTube fam? Aloha and welcome! So happy to have each and every one of you here today. On my channel, you will find all things budgeting, from cash envelope stuffings, saving challenges, sinking fund updates, unboxings, investing, as well as saving up for my house down payment. In today's video, I will be going over my closeout for paycheck number one of September. See how much cash I have left over in each of my cash envelopes. See how many likes we got from last week's Transfer Thursday's video. And stay to the end as I do my cash stuffing for paycheck number two of September. If you're having a great week so far, give this video a huge thumbs up and let's begin. All right, friends, let's get right into my weekly check-in for paycheck number one of September. So last week we did leave off on the 15th. I had another no spend. So proud of myself. The last couple of months I've had no spends on Thursdays. Friday, I did pick out the $1 investing challenge tracker off of Mommy Trader's website and that was for $1.50. Saturday, I did have another no spend. Sunday, I did the mystery scratch off challenge from Alicia at Hands and Bands, and that was for $32. Monday, I did pay it for $10, and then I did purchase a few things from Amazon, and that was for $40. Tuesday, I did have another no spend, which is amazing, and then Wednesday was for $110, and that was for a Safeway. And then today, being Thursday, the 22nd, I won't know until the following week if I had another no spend. All right, so I have my wallet here. Let's go ahead and see how much cash I have left over in my cash envelopes. So I do have some rollover money in groceries. So we have 20 and 30. Gas, I always like to fill up at the halfway point. So I did spend 30, so we do have 20. And I think the rest are all depleted, yep. I just put these back inside and then I will cash stuff these more towards the end of the video and then so I have a total of 20 40 and 50 left over so I'm gonna put this off to the side and I will show you all what I do with this later on in the video next up we have my one dollar and five dollar savings challenge so every time I get money back from the store if I get a one or a five I do like to put it off to the side so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. But five of these are actually J bucks. I'm so lucky that I found those. Six dollars will be going in there. And I'm also collecting J bucks. And if you aren't familiar with what J bucks are, they do print money from different Federal Reserve Banks. So J represents Kansas City. So I will be adding another five. One, two, three, four, and five. And what I'm using for this challenge is it's gonna be going towards my housewarming gift once I do purchase my house. So let me just go ahead and color in one more G. And I got this cute tracker off of Reinventing Renee's Etsy shop. I will leave her information down below. But so far we have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So 50, and then one, two, three, four, and five. So we are making great progress here. And it's so awesome to see so many of you collecting the G-Box or even the other um, letters. 
How's your progress going? Go ahead and comment down below. Next up, we have my coin saving challenge and just like the $1 and $5 challenge. Anytime I get coins back from the store, I like to keep it off to the side. So this week I did have quite a bit of coins left over, as you can see inside. So let me go ahead and just empty it out into the jar. And what I'm using this for is towards my house down payment. Since recently I was able to become debt free, so I'm gonna be rolling this money towards my house down payment. At the end of the year, I will go ahead and take this to my local bank and I will run it through the machine and then just go ahead and transfer that towards my hefty down payment of $100,000. Next up, we have my Tiger Saving Challenge and this was created by Allison over at The Budget Bird. The objective of this challenge is to save up a total of $2,022 in the year 2022. So this week I will be adding another $84. So we have 50, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. Let me go ahead and just color in the paw print. And I am going to be using this towards my birthday celebration at the end of the year. So we are making great progress. We are almost done with this challenge and I'm so excited to be able to celebrate my birthday. I do want to do like a spa day, get like a body massage, my pedicure and manicure. All right, let me go ahead and just add the money into my saving challenge binder. Hope you're all having a great week so far. Go ahead and just organize the money real quick. All right, so so far in this challenge, I have been able to save up a total of 1,000. 11, 12, 1300, 1350, 1400, 1420, 40, 50, 60, <laughs> 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, and 78. So $1,478. All right, friends, let's go ahead and jump right into my budget breakdown for paycheck number two of September. I do like to always start off with quote of the week and quote of the week says there is no right or wrong way to budget. And that's from yours truly. I've been learning along this journey of mine that there is definitely no right or wrong way to budget. My recommendation is to just go at it at your own pace. And there's no such thing as two same budgets. So if you are able to save more one week than the other, that's totally fine. Any amount that you're able to save is a win in itself. All right, so up here are for my bills for the month. So what I like to do is divide the total amount by two. And that's how I'm able to get these numbers here. And then for my bills, I don't take out any physical cash. I have a separate checking account and I just have it debited every month from my checking account. Down here are for my cash envelopes. So these are categories that I spend cash on a weekly basis. These are more like my necessities, like groceries, gas, spending, my cats, pay it for it, and then drinks and eating out. And then a while ago, we just did the tiger saving challenge. Just flip you all to the back. All right, and then sinking funds are categories that I am saving up for in the short term and the long term. For the most part, these amounts have not fluctuated in the last couple of months, but in the next quarter, I will revisit my budget and see if there's any amounts that I need to change. So let's go ahead and jump right into my cash stuffing. All right, so I have the cash here. So I'm not gonna do a money count, but we are working with a total of $1,669. And I did pull some money for that challenge a little while ago. Let me just go ahead and get the money situated. All right, so first up are for my cash envelopes. Let me just take out my um, envelopes real quick. First category is gonna be for groceries and I do like to set aside um, 200. And I like to do one large and then 120s. So we have 120, 40, 60, 80, and 200. Next is for gas, and it will be getting 50. My 
my two cats will be getting 60 and this is for like their treats or any cat food or medication so 20 40 and 60 Drinks and eating out is going to get its usual 40 to 20 and 40. Spending for myself will also be getting 40, so 20 and 40. Right, and then the last category for P8 Ford, it will be getting its usual 20. Alright, so my cash envelopes are set and ready to go for the week. Let's go ahead and just put it back inside of my wallet. Next up, we have my aqua blue binder for my sinking fund. So first category will be for my new car. It's going to be getting 50. And my current car is fully paid off, but I just want to set aside money when I am ready to purchase another car. I will have the money set aside. So far, I was able to save up 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 420, and 425. And every quarter, I do a quarter on stuffing. Next up is for car maintenance. It will also be getting its usual 50. All right, so it has 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 420, 40, 45, and 450. My emergency fund will also be getting 50. And I've been having to take some money from this category in the last couple of weeks. So I'm just trying to beef this up again. All right, so it has 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 520, and 525. Next up is for my home saving. So my goal right now is to save up a total of $100,000. And I do this with my home savings, also investing. And then since I was at the bank today, I actually had um, 500 in cash here. So I took that money back to the bank. And then also the cash that I was gonna take out, I also transfer that into my online account. So 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500 here in prop money. All right, so, so far in this category, I have, so 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. 3,000, 500, 4,000, 4,500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5,000, 5,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 5,500. I actually think I can go ahead and condense this a little bit more. Let me get my placeholder. All right, so I'm going to take out these two 500s. And I think I can actually do five. Seven, eight, nine, and another thousand. All right, perfect. So one, two, three, four, five thousand, and then the other five hundred. I like to use prop money also just because I don't want to have a lot of cash lying around the house. It's not safe. And also I want to be able to earn some interest on the money. Next up is for birthdays. Birthdays is going to be getting its usual 25. And thank you all so much for my friend's birthday wishes. You all are so amazing. All right, so we have 100, 120, 40, 45, and 150. Next is for LASIK eye surgery. And I do plan on doing this in the next one to two years. So LASIK eye surgery now has 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 205, 10, and 15. Next is for beauty, and beauty will be getting 25. All right, so now has 100, 120, 40, 45, and 150. 
And then the next three categories are for my three beautiful nieces. And I do like to set aside $15 a paycheck. And at the end of the month, I like to invest it in their online brokerage account so I can earn money for them over time. All right, so for Sky, she has 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, and 90. All right, next up is for Hoku. So we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, and 90. And the last category is going to be for Leah, and Leah will also be getting 15. All right, so 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, and 90. Next up is my mystery challenge box. And as you all know, recently I became debt free. The money that I was saving for my debt snowball is now going towards this mystery challenge box. On Sunday, I did have my mom pick a few envelopes. Let me just go ahead and take them out real quick. So she selected 55, 59, 32, and 62. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff these envelopes real quick and I will speed it up. Before we jump into my future binder, can you all guess what day it is? It's transfer Thursday. For those of you that are new to my channel, I do participate in Transfer Thursday and it is solely determined by all of you. The amount of YouTube likes I get from my previous Transfer Thursday video is the dollar amount that I will be investing in my online brokerage account for my house down payment. All right, so we have 100, 105, 6, 7, and 108. And recently we hit over 5,000, which is so awesome. You all see this amaze me every week. So appreciative for all of the love and support that I receive on my channel. All right, so as you can see here, we have the $5,000 placeholder. So 5,000, 51, 52, 53, 5,400, 54, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. So 54, 62. So it is another week, which means you have another opportunity. Give this video a huge thumbs up and let's see how many likes we can get for our next week's Transfer Thursdays video. Moving right along, we have my future binder. So first category up is going to be for my health. It will be getting 20. This is for any like copies or any medication or vitamins. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, and 120. Next is for subscriptions. Subscriptions will be getting 25. And this is for like Amazon, YouTube Premium. All right, so it has 100, 120, 40, 45, and 150. Next is for postage. Postage will be getting 25. So postage now has 100, 20, 40, 45, and 150. Next is for receipts, and I do participate in what's called Fetch Rewards, and it is an online reward system. Every time I get receipts from the store, I scan it on the Fetch app. And then I do save up the rewards and you can redeem it for like gift cards. I was able to get like grocery gift cards, food gift cards as well. 
If you would like to participate, I will leave my referral code on the screen. If you download the app for the first time and upload your first receipt, we each will be getting 2,000 points. All right, next is for electronics and electronics will be getting 25. So electronics now has 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 315, 21, 2, and 3. So 323. Next up is for my uh, three to six month expenses, and it will be getting 50. So 20, 40, and 50. So now it has 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 70, 90, 410, 20s, and 425. Alright, next up is for rollover. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I did have some rollover money in my cash envelopes. Right, so we're going to be adding the 50, so 20, 40, 50, and 60. All right, so the rollover money that I have will actually be adding to this um, mystery box challenge. So I have this 60 here, 20, 40, 50, and 60. So we will be adding another envelope for this week. So happy. And the goal for this is to save up a total of 5,050. So when I'm complete, I will go ahead and transfer this to my house savings. And then moving along, we have taxes, and taxes will be getting 25. Okay, so it has 100, 150, 170, 190, 95, and 200. Okay, and then the last category is going to be for YouTube. So 10, 20, 25, and 30. So it has 100, 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 205, 10, 15, 20, and 225. All right, friends, that's going to do it for another cash stuffing video. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you've made it this far into the video, go ahead and comment down below hashtag cash stuffing. And I will catch you all in my next video. Aloha. Take care.